Hey, I'm Philip Brady, and I'm glad to be able to share this latest session with you on non-negotiables. I'm a leadership and executive coach, and I've been invited by your gym to cover some of these kind of mindset topics, and I hope it's helpful. Why non-negotiables are helpful? One of the reasons is if you don't know what you're saying yes to, it's really hard to say no to other things. And so getting really clear on some of these things that are important to you and carving out the time, energy and attention towards them is going to be really helpful for you and your well-being, but also the time, energy and attention that, that you dedicate towards whatever it is that you're working towards. If that's a goal in the gym, if that's like a, a challenge that you've signed up for, like a high rocks or a cycle or a marathon or whatever that looks like for you. Having clear non-negotiables that give you boundaries around your time is going to make a massive difference. The other reason is because if you don't have non-negotiables, you will be at the mercy of everybody around you. You won't have that time, energy and attention carved out for yourself. So other people just keep pushing against it. And often we can feel pressure to uh, live up to the expectations of other people. So we should be always available to other people. We should put our needs last. We should keep everybody else happy around us and always be available for them. So we should, 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 and it's not helpful. And so having some things that you can have as non-negotiables, where no matter what happens uh, in a week or in a day or any of those kind of things, you will carve out the time, energy and attention to spend on those things for you so that you can then show up for the people, then show up for work, whatever that looks like for you. And so a couple of simple things that you can do. One is to reframe the time for you as selfless, not selfish. Often when we carve out time for ourselves, we feel selfish and we forget that you are going to bring a better version of who you are from spending that time on yourself versus the version of yourself who does not have some of these non-negotiables. You're going to bring a less energized, less thoughtful, potentially less kind, more burned out, more overwhelmed, more tired because you're not maintaining these non-negotiables for yourself and for, again, your time, energy, and attention. So another thing that you can do to make a massive difference around the space is plan your week on a Sunday. Typically, we react to the day, we react to the week, and we're catching up by the end of it. Instead, get really clear, get really intentional about what your week looks like for the week ahead, and then planning the week so that you can be intentional with some of the things that you put into your calendar, like get really clear on your priorities. What is it that you want to make important to you this week? And I mean, they say like, a, if you want to find out what's important to somebody, show, show them or, or look at their calendar. If it's not in your calendar, it's not important. And so when you don't act in alignment with your values like that, around these non-negotiables for yourself, that you get to decide what's on this list. You get to do that, not other people. Other people can put on their expectations or their shoulds afterwards, but this is for you. Take the time. The other thing is just break it down to 1%. So often we think we have to create a, a five-hour morning routine or a, a seven-day workout plan. It's not. It's 1%. What's the 1% for you? Maybe it's you make yourself a cup of tea in the morning and you read a page of a book. Maybe it's you drink just an extra glass of water every day. Maybe it's say you do at least 10 press-ups every day. Maybe it's say you ring your loved ones uh, and tell them that, that they're important to you. Uh, whatever it looks like for you, make it super small. 1% of your day is 15 minutes. Make it super small. Schedule them in. Another non-negotiable or how you might figure out what this looks like for you is an energy audit or energy accounting. And how you would do this is on a piece of paper, I have a piece of paper here. On one side of the page, you would write down things that top up your energy. So things or people that top up your energy. And on the other side, things or people that take it away. When you get really clear on who or what gives you energy and who or what takes it away, you can then decide where you're going to spend more or less time. And then you're going to increase your energy. And that's going to, again, help you be able to show up in a better way for everybody that you love around you. And then again, in work as well. The other thing is to know, and again, we take information around these things um, from sometimes burning out or being overwhelmed. So notice your engine lights. What is it when you are just burned out, when you're too mentally tired, when you're overwhelmed? Their information, they're like an engine light going off on a dashboard to say, I need to do something different. And so use that as information. It's information. It's not failure. It's feedback, not failure. Use the information to say, when I overstretched, when I 
people pleased when I did too much for other people and I didn't do these whatever the non-negotiables are for you well then I burned out well then it was really difficult but then it was really hard to get time energy and attention for myself and so use that as information it's feedback it's not failure so again, that's just a really quick, hopefully actionable, hopefully tactically useful information on non-negotiables and the importance of it. What's your 1% from this video? What's the 1% action, which is 15 minutes a day that you can do for yourself based on this video? That's a hopefully useful invitation. I'm Philip Brady, my business is Vitamin P Coaching. I hope this has been useful. Thanks a million for watching and I'll see you in the next video.